Hey guys, welcome to Tech Bytes. In this video, we'll have a close look at creating a watermark and inserting the watermark in large number of images at the same time. So, without any dick, let's move towards the tutorial. Okay, the first step is to open the Photoshop. As I have already opened Photoshop, so let's create a file, a new document. So let it be 3000 by 2000 pixel. You may select any document size. So now just click on the brush tool and with my pen tablet I am going to create a signature for my watermark. So let's select the pen color and I am setting it to black color and just creating a signature. So as I have created my signature now, I can save the file or you can also create a type tool and create some watermark text. So let's See this process also. So let's create two different watermark files, one for the signature and the next for the text. So click on the save button and on the save as type we will select the PNG format as its preserves are transparency. So our text file has been saved as png file. Now let's hide this text file and show this signature and again I am going to save this file as a png file. So let's have is as watermark to Okay, then on the windows menu navigate to the action or just type shortcut alt plus f9 for windows and option plus f9 for mac
for side by when you click on the action or sidebar when you click on the action or sidebar appears on the sidebar click on new action and name your action is watermark and record So head over to the file menu, click on open and open any one image. I have downloaded this image from pixel.com which is a huge online library for a large number of high quality images. Now on the file menu. Let's go to place embedded and click on place embedded so that we can embed our watermark. I have already recorded two watermarks here. So let's click on these two watermarks and click on place. So now my watermark has been placed on my photo. If you want to change the color of our watermark then we can change the color by clicking double clicking on the layer of our watermark and check the color overlay and our color overlay has been applied. Similarly, I have also another watermark. I'll follow the same procedure and place the text watermark here. So if your watermark does not fit on your picture, then you can just copy and paste the watermark few times. So I have so let's change the color of this text watermark by using color overlay. And just press the Alt key. And Shift key at the same time and copy it. So now my watermark has been applied as we are recording our action. Now click on file and save it as a JPG file. Let's save it. So we can stop our action. So while recording the action, one thing to be noted is that whenever you delete or move the folder containing the watermark, your action does not work. So I suggest to save the file in a safer folder. Now we have recorded our actions. So it's time to place the watermark in your photos. Okay, let's click on the file menu and automate and then batch. So we can see here on the action there is our action that we have already saved that is watermark. If you don't see this option then click on 
this action and select a watermark. So now on the source we are going to select the folder and choose the folder. So I have saved my files, my photos in the folder called watermark. So let's click on the folder watermark. And one thing to be noted for the first time is that you have to check all the small radio buttons here. So check all the buttons here and then on the destination select the folder and click on choose and choose the folder on which your edited photos are to be saved and select the folder. So the first thing to be done here is that first of all I want to set my document name. If you want your name to be specific then type the name here. I have typed here tech bytes and click on the month, date or year option. Yeah, however, it is optional, you can also save it by using a two digit, three digit or four digit serial number. However, I have set my date month here and similarly, I am going to set my four digit serial number and finally select the extension for your file name. Okay, so click on the OK button and now our action is working. So we can see here that our files So now sit back and enjoy and all of your photos are going con to contain your watermark. So all of our watermark has been applied. Let's click on the watermark edited folder. And we can see all of our files containing our watermark. So you can process a large number of files by using this method. So if you find it useful then don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. It will encourage to create various videos on future. Have a good day.